Okay, so uh, this one is a bit of a discussion type video and uh, what prompted me to make a, this video is a certain image that I've seen floating around on the internet and it was this one. I've seen several uh, similar cases like this being popping up on various forums, uh, discords, stuff like that. And uh, I already knew that there were caps for certain stats. So for example, credit rate, accuracy, resistance, evasion, they of course all max out at 100%. Precision, I've already tested that, it maxes out at 200%. But uh, crit damage was sort of a gray area because uh, attack and crit damage are sort of the main stats uh, that increase your damage and crit damage being limited could put a very big dent into optimizing those uh, damage stats. So with this image I wanted to test out first of all whether that crit damage cap is indeed true and uh, second of all uh, how to maximize your damage knowing with that cap, especially with certain debuffs and certain buffs being in the game. So while I'm not able to build a unit that has 400% crit damage, uh, what I'm able to do is uh, get that 400 uh, crit damage in other ways. So first of all, uh, I have a Naomi, she is at close to 280 crit damage, but uh, her passive actually increases her crit damage by 20% for each debuff that is applied on the enemy. So with the current stats, uh, I would need seven debuffs uh, for her crit damage to reach over 400 and with six debuffs her crit damage would be 397. So if we use uh, the damage that she deals with six debuffs compared to seven and more, uh, you will notice that the damage will differ a bit but after seven, let's say if I use 7, 8, 9, 10 debuffs, uh, the damage should stay the same. So for that, I've done some tests. And yeah, the first test was this. So basically, uh, I'm using Galleon. Uh, the debuffs that increase damage uh, directly are the defense break as well as level 1 crit damage taken up. So only two debuffs. The rest are regular debuffs just for the count. And uh, we're going to be testing her damage on the uh, second charge skill. So not the first one because that will stack crit damage taken up and that would be a bit unfair. So uh, we're gonna see the damage. So uh, the boss, current, not the boss, uh, the enemy currently has eight debuffs. Uh, Naomi has the attack buff and she also has a level one defense break and level one crit damage. So if we hit ability with uh, eight debuffs, you can see that she did 119,828 damage. And then, uh, I have used the same ability on 7 debuffs, which would still be above the 400% cap, however, would do lower damage. And as you can see, the damage is actually identical. So no matter whether it's 7 or 8 debuffs, uh, the crit damage did not change because it seems like the cap is indeed true. And just out of curiosity, I did the same test with 10 debuffs this time. So you can see 10 debuffs stacked, level 1 defense break, level 1 crit damage taken up, level 1 attack buff on Naomi. Uh, there are 10 debuffs in total and once she hits her ability again she does the exact same number uh, of damage. So 119,828. So yes, it looks like crit damage is indeed capped at 400. Uh, which is a bit of a sad thing because uh, this sort of ruins the scalability a lot. Uh, the only stat that is able to, as far as we know, at least infinitely scale, will be the attack one. Of course, defense is HP, but uh, damage doesn't scale with those for most units, so we're not taking those into equation right now. And yeah, as for attack scaling, uh, I personally tested out up until like 10,000, and it looks like it still scales there. I had a unit with like over 6,000 uh, attack, I tested it with level 9 attack buff and with level 10 attack buff and the damage did differ so it looks like at least up until like 10,000 attack uh, the scaling is still there it is not capped so hopefully at least attack is infinite but now here's the thing uh, 400 crit damage is really hard to reach on a summoner I would say the majority of people especially uh, people who are focusing on Orbia will usually sit 
in that 300 plus crit damage range. Uh, reaching 400, I would say, is really not that optimal because, as you can see, it caps out. And uh, for monsters, I don't think it's even... Is it even possible to reach 400? Maybe with max box, I would say. Uh, but most will also sit in that around 300, maybe a bit more than 300 range with really decent runes. However, I also wanted to test out which of those uh, buffs and debuffs affect the crit damage because uh, regularly, uh, reaching 400 crit damage with monsters and summoners will not be an issue as it's extremely hard to hit that cap. However, if certain buffs and debuffs do affect that cap, this could be very problematic for the future and may even impact the builds that people have on their units. So from testing crit damage taken up debuff, uh, the one that Naomi does uh, with her uh, first charge ability, let's see if I'm able to even get it. Yeah, this one, uh, the crit damage taken up. Uh, thankfully, this one is not taken into account, meaning that even if your crit damage is capped at 400, a level 1 debuff and a level 2 debuff will have a difference in damage. So this one is not calculated towards the crit damage cap and having more of this uh, debuff will increase the damage with each level. However, it is not the same for Windy. Uh, so Windy is the only unit that is able to do an AoE buff for crit damage up. So Unfortunately, this buff is included in the cap, meaning that uh, whatever buff you receive from Wendy will be uh, lowered from the maximum cap. Let's say uh, if you uh, have a 400% crit damage cap and you buff up uh, Wendy's ability once, it will give you level 2 crit damage taken, or rather crit damage dealt up that will increase your crit damage by 80%. Meaning that if a unit or a summoner has anywhere above 320% crit damage, uh, any further crit damage will unfortunately not increase your damage at all. Would this matter? Oh, first of all, let me actually just show you. So if you remember Naomi, she needs 7 debuffs to reach that maximum damage. And with 6, her damage would be slightly lower. She would be at around 397 accurate uh, damage, so the damage will be lower. And if we continue the run, so yeah, as you can see with six debuffs, her damage would be a bit lower, but my Naomi does have a uh, decrease damage buff. So if I do a hit with her second charge skill, again, the damage is the same as with seven or more debuffs, that is 119,828. So yes, this crit damage buff does uh, go into account for the crit damage cap. So now how much does this change uh, the game, the build meta or so? For single tech dungeons, so the dungeons that you do solo, like the Kairos Path of Growth, this should not impact it a lot. Uh, usually you do not use a windy for those solo dungeons, so uh, there's a very low chance that you will be hitting the 400 crit damage cap and it won't matter much. Uh, for party dungeons where you are in groups of three, so for example like raids, uh, something like what's it called, field boss, where you can group up with up to three people, or rather up to two people to be three together, one of you will bring a Windy most likely if you do have him built because the damage increase from him is pretty big and he's sort of a safety option in case something goes wrong as well. Uh, with the Windy buff, uh, he buffs level 2, so if he is off souling slot, uh, usually you will have 80% crit damage buff from that level 2. However, if someone uses him as a souling slot, uh, there's a good chance you will be having a level 4 crit damage up for the majority of the time. So with level 4, uh, you are getting 110% crit damage boost meaning that the maximum crit damage you need is only 290%. And even with my crappy runes, uh, I am able to get close to 290% uh, crit damage. Uh, I probably should use a unit that I use more frequently. So not in high, yeah, 285%. If I improve like one book or one rune here and there, that would put me at around 290%. 
and essentially hit the cap if the windy was used in the solving slot. But even then, uh, usually you will not notice much difference as uh, whenever you use windy in dates, you will usually use them in an on off solving slot where a crit damage uh, will require to be 320% or above the law, I guess you want to say uh, 320 is the cap. But even then, uh, if you're building your units to be past this cap, uh, you are essentially losing out on damage whenever a windy is used and you will need to switch to more attack, uh, assuming that uh, the damage dealers do scale with attack, which of course most uh, damage dealers that scale with debuffs do scale with attack, so it's the fact. Uh, the wind cap, the Argan, the Nadian Ha, Light Sylph for whatever. And for scenarios where multiple Windies can be present, so uh, mainly talking about guild rates, uh, there's a very good chance that you will be able to stack this buff even higher, maybe even level 6, level 8 or more. And at level 6, it's already hitting 130% crit damage buffs, meaning that the cap goes down to only 270%. And anything above 270 would be essentially worthless. And as stats improve, as you get better wounds, better books, better effect stones, everything like that, uh, better gems, most importantly, this damage cap will go up, up, up. And uh, the more the damage you get, especially if you're using Windy, the less useful it will be. And instead, the sort of a discussion point of whether crit damage is a bit overrated because I always see crit damage being suggested over attack for most damage low units and I think this is a point that everyone needs to think is that maybe attack will be the more important stat to focus on in the future. I'm not saying that you should ditch your slot for uh, crit damage runes or anything like that but maybe rage is not that superior of a set maybe the substats you are getting instead of focusing on crit damage uh, you should focus more on attack maybe even attack speed as that will directly increase the damage as well and yeah the sort of a testing video i just wanted to see uh, whether the cap is indeed true and how this could affect uh, the game especially going into the future because the more stuff gets released uh, the more ways you will get to get various stats and stuff like that uh, as you know uh we're getting runes everyone's improving their professions they are getting those better books they're getting better gems i just started getting some legendary gems myself and i already see that the change is pretty big with those and there's of course more stuff planned in the future i know that uh, in the future, summoners are getting some sort of an enhancement, sort of like runes. So that might increase uh, the overall stat cap as well. And yeah, uh, just an interesting point to discuss. Do let me know your opinion in the comments if you think this will affect the game at all and whether you see where it might affect you the most. And yeah, see you in the next one.